Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, we're coming out with another one, and this is actually on Gervonta Davis versus Hugo Ruiz, and the viewership numbers have finally came out for this fight, and it actually looks like it did pretty low in the viewership numbers, and it says here in BoxingScene.com, that Javante Davis versus Hugo Ruiz headliner peaks at 486,000 viewers. And it goes on to state in this article, Javante Davis and the Showtime family made the most of an undesirable situation. The first televised headliner for the unbeaten Southpaw from Baltimore, Maryland, was supposed to be a much bigger event as Davis was due to defend his 130-pound title versus former three-division champ Abner Morris. Instead, he was forced to settle for a late replacement in Hugo Ruiz, whom he blasted out inside of a round last Saturday evening at Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson, California. The makeshift headliner drew an average of 429,000 viewers with a peak audience of 486,000 coming in the nine minute slot occupied by Davis Quick Hit. It also goes on to state in this article. Saturday's edition of Showtime Championship Boxing ran opposite live NBA coverage on NBC, UFC coverage on both ESPN and pay-per-view, as well as the debut of the Alliance of American Football League, which aired live on CBS. The upstart football launched one the night in key demographic ratings, even outpacing the NBA on ABC across the board. Additional interest was drawn to the league thanks to well-placed advertisements during the Super Bowl coverage on CBS the preceding week. Any such promotional push geared towards Showtime telecast has greatly impacted once Mares, a longtime dependable draw, suffered the career-threatening injury which forced him to pull out of the contest. Quote. Now, with this article coming out, those numbers are actually pretty low for a fight like this, especially to have a headlining star like Javante Davis and for it to only pull 486,000 viewers. That is actually very low considering the other boxing events that they have put on Showtime, which have done very well doing anywhere from 500,000 or more just on average. So with this being said, it also states in this article that this fight went head to head with all these other different events It had the NBA on at the same time. It had the friggin' Alliance of American Football on at the same time, and I already knew that the UFC was on at the same time. There were actually a few different fights on at the same time. They had the UFC on at the same time. They had the fight cards on the zone at the same time, and plus, like I said, it had the NBA at the same time, and the American Football League was on at the same time. So with all these different events going on at the same time, especially with them being on national networks like ABC and NBC, that would definitely take away a lot of the viewership numbers from a fight like Javante Davis and Hugo Ruiz and then plus with it being a late replacement with Hugo Ruiz I definitely know it took a lot of the viewership away from it because a lot of people were not expecting that to be a good fight and a lot of people were expecting Javante Davis to fight Abner Morris. So I already know with Abner is pulling out it already took the viewership numbers down dramatically just from that itself but then also with all these other events coming on at the same time I know it definitely dropped the viewership numbers for that damn event. But with Javante Davis still being able to pull that many viewers, it's still good that he still was able to pull a good 486,000 viewers just to see him on a premier network like Showtime. And then also the attendance at that fight was a sold out attendance. And not only was it a sold out attendance, but it actually packed more stars at that attendance than a lot of other fights were able to bring into attendance. Especially with it saying here in this article that the event still managed to draw several notable stars in the sports and entertainment world live in attendance. So he did bring in a lot of stars and he did have a packed house. But at the same time, with him going head to head with all these other different events, it was just kind of an off night for him to be putting on an event like that, especially to be headlining. But... It's still good that they were able to put his brand out there with him being able to headline a card. 
and hopefully the next card that he does headline won't have to go head to head with all these other events on ABC, on NBC, and all these other nationwide platforms, and hopefully he'll be able to do a lot better next time. But even still, with him being able to draw 486,000 viewers with all those other events, he still did pretty good for himself being able to do that. So with that being said, I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.